The Special Forces of the Cybersecurity Department of the Security Service of Ukraine, SBU, have successfully neutralized two more Russian Murom surveillance systems. Such destructions are crucial steps in Ukraine's ability to counter Russian surveillance and intelligence efforts. Army Recognition previously discussed these surveillance systems on July 17, 2023. This event is part of a series of successful operations by the Ukrainian Army, which also recently destroyed a Russian Pol-21 electronic warfare system and other military equipment in southern Ukraine. The Murom surveillance system, developed by the Russian company Stillsoft, is an autonomous and mobile surveillance system. It operates 24-7 for remote video surveillance, monitoring, and protection of open areas, approaches, perimeters, and routes to specific objects. The system is equipped with a high-resolution video camera capable of detecting human targets up to 10,000 meters away, with a resolution of 2592 by 1944 pixels, providing clear and detailed images. The Murum P is also described as a video thermal surveillance system, incorporating a long-range video camera and thermal imagers. Some versions of this system also include radar, enhancing its surveillance and detection capabilities. As a mobile and standalone surveillance system, Murum plays a vital role in military operations, offering advanced reconnaissance and surveillance capabilities in various environments and conditions. The Security Service of Ukraine, SBU, is the primary law enforcement, intelligence, and security agency of the Ukrainian government. It focuses on counterintelligence activities, combating organized crime, and terrorism. Defined by the Ukrainian constitution as a military formation, its personnel are considered military personnel with ranks. It is directly subordinate to the president of Ukraine and also operates its own special forces unit, the Alpha Group. The SBU's responsibilities include protecting national sovereignty, constitutional order, territorial integrity, and the state's legal interests and civil rights from foreign special services intelligence and subversion activities. It is also tasked with ensuring the protection of state secrets and combating crimes threatening peace and security, including terrorism, corruption, and organized criminal activities in management and economics. The general structure and operational methods of the SBU are very similar to those of its predecessor, the KGB of the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic, with a few key differences. However, the SBU maintains control over special operations units, notably the Alpha Group, with bases in every Ukrainian province. The organizational structure of the SBU is quite extensive, with a total workforce of about 30,000 personnel, six times larger than the combined British domestic MI5 and external MI6. The SBU includes several departments, including the Anti-Terrorist Center, which cooperates with many ministries and other state agencies, educational institutions specializing in training service personnel, and the state archives of the SBU. As the conflict continues, the importance of cybersecurity and electronic warfare in determining strategic outcomes cannot be underestimated. Ukraine's efforts to strengthen its defense and offensive capabilities in cyberspace could play a vital role in the ongoing conflict.